Hi everyone, my name is Amrit Kamboj and I'm here with June Tomei to review microscopic colitis, a common yet often overlooked cause of chronic diarrhea. Microscopic colitis is an inflammatory disease of the colon and a frequent cause of chronic or recurrent watery diarrhea, particularly in older persons. Microscopic colitis consists of two distinct subtypes, namely collagenous colitis and lymphocytic colitis. In this update, we review the epidemiology, risk factors, pathophysiology, diagnosis, and clinical management for this condition, as well as novel therapeutic approaches. The primary symptom of microscopic colitis is watery, non-bloody diarrhea, although the clinical presentation is often nonspecific. Other signs and symptoms may include abdominal pain, weight loss, fatigue, and arthralgias. Dehydration or electrolyte abnormalities may also be present depending on the disease severity. The colon typically appears normal endoscopically in microscopic colitis, and the diagnosis requires histology with findings of intraepithelial lymphocytosis with or without a prominent subepithelial collagen band. While recent studies suggest the incidence of microscopic colitis has plateaued, given an aging population, the prevalence of microscopic colitis will likely increase. Risk factors for microscopic colitis include female gender, increasing age, presence of other autoimmune diseases, and possibly the use of certain medications, including proton pump inhibitors, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and statins. The approach to treatment is similar for both lymphocytic colitis and collagenous colitis and should be directed by the severity of patient symptoms. Offending medications highly associated with microscopic colitis should be discontinued as clinically possible. In patients with mild symptoms, antidiarrheals such as loperamide are the initial choice, while for moderate to severe disease, budesonide is recommended for induction of clinical remission. Budesonide is recommended for maintenance of clinical remission in patients with recurrence of symptoms following discontinuation of induction therapy. The lowest effective dose that maintains resolution of symptoms should be prescribed and patients should be monitored for side effects including hypertension, diabetes, and metabolic bone disease. In rare cases, for those with complex refractory disease, immunomodulators may be required. We hope you find this article on microscopic colitis informative and clinically relevant for your practice. Thank you very much.